In this video we are going over the process of integrating System1 to Clickflare. This way we will be able to have the revenue and revenue events automatically reported to Clickflare without having the need to manually upload CSV files for when the revenue gets confirmed or for intraday revenue. But before going the process of integrating uh, System1 to Clickflare, it would be wise to go over the process of creating a proper link uh, in order to make sure that the tracking is solid and everything tracks perfectly. And more importantly, we have to keep present that the tracking will pass through Clickflare, not directly from the traffic source to uh, System1. System1 provides two sub-IDs where we can send any the tracking information that we need for our tracking purposes. But also it requires us to pass the network name, site name, ad title and sometimes traffic source click ID. Also they provide a URL builder tool which helps you create the links easily and make sure that everything is set up properly and we will use that in a moment using uh, our dummy domain and using Clickflare's click ID. So let's copy the domain. Let's go over to the uh, uh, URL builder, paste the domain here and select the flow type switch the flow type from content to direct to lander. Let's select Tabula as an example traffic source and let's paste here the click ID from uh, Clickflare. Also we will see that automatically uh, System1 is filling the referral source, the ref parameter with Tabula uh, dash site. Also it is uh, filling the headline with the title which is the, uh, these are the tokens from Tabula. And here we can paste or we can uh, add the keywords or the fallback keywords or compliance keywords that need to be present on our link. So let's uh, use their example, new SUVs, just for uh, this example. And here we will need to pass the click tracker URL or search tracker URL or impression tracker URL if we need to. Now, with the integration from Clickflare, you won't necessarily need to pass this information because Clickflare will take care of everything automatically. So when the conversion happens using our uh, integration, the revenue events and revenue will be pulled automatically. So all you will have to do is click on Submit to get the link from System1. Let's copy this link. Let's go back to our uh, notepad. Let's make some room here and let's paste it here. Now, what we will need to do here is to change the site and the title uh, um, macros to our own macros because now we are passing the traffic from Clickflare and not directly from Tabula to uh, System1. So let's go over to Clickflare and let's see where we have the site which is on tracking field 1. Let's copy this value, go back to our file and replace the site with tracking field 1. and Let's do the same with the title. So the title is on tracking field 3. Let's copy this value here. Let's go back to uh, the RS title parameter and replace it here. And if you need to, you can even send the campaign name uh, on sub ID 2. So let's call, uh, let's do and sub underscore ID 2 equals tracking field 8, where we're sending the campaign name from Tabula to Clickflare. So let's go again here and now we have the link for Clickflare. So let's copy this value. Let's go back to Clickflare to offers and let's click on add new offer. Add new offer. Let's uh, not select any off network if needed. So let's call this example system one link let's paste the url and as you can see we have the clickflare click id tracking field 1 tracking field 8 and tracking field 3 already selected so let's save this now we have the offer properly configured and we can easily duplicate that offer later on in order to add new offers and we keep the same tracking string on all our campaigns on all, all our links now let's head to settings if you haven't done this already, you have to go to custom conversions and create two custom conversions by clicking on add new, specify the custom conversion name, let's say search, and specify the parameter search again, and this will be for when the user searches on the lander, or search click 
for when the user clicks on the search uh, on, on the search results. So let's edit one of these. And as you can see here, we have specified the name search click and the parameter search click. We have included this in the main conversions and main revenue. So when, uh, the, when the revenue and conversion events are reported here, are reported in the main conversions and revenue of the tracker. So let's close this one. And this is one step that we need to make sure that we are already completing before proceeding with the, with the direct integration. Let's go to integrations, scroll down to revenue streams, and here click on add new integration, specify system one from the list of supported integrations, and select the custom conversion. That's why we need to create the custom conversion previously. So let's select search click, and let's select the sub ID where we're sending the click ID to Clickflare. So in this case, we were sending the click ID to sub one. So CF click ID goes to sub ID one. So we will select sub ID one here, not sub ID two. We will paste the authorization key that you will get from your um, system one representative or account manager. So let's type something dummy here and let's click save. Oh, sorry, I forgot the name. So it is system one. Uh, system one account one, let's say, and you can connect multiple accounts and let's click save. And this will use the authentication key that you will get from uh, system one. Here, obviously we're getting an error because it is a dummy uh, key, but uh, this is what you need to do. Click save and you will have the integration there. Now, before creating the campaign to Tabula, what you will need to do is create one campaign on Clickfair here. And let's call this uh, new campaign uh, US system one example campaign. It will be global uh, traffic if you need to specify it or you, you can type it United, United States here and have everything organized properly on your tracker. You can select traffic source, in this case uh, Tabuda. We will need to specify the transition between the campaign uh, with, between the ad and the campaign funnel to redirect. And here we can type any notes that you want. Let's specify the uh, cost modeling, uh, cost tracking model to none, not track it, not track because we're using the optimizer on the other end. Let's specify the destination. So the, uh, the flow would be offers only. And let's go and select system one example link that we created uh, earlier. Let's hit save. And now we have the link that we will use to Tabula to create our campaign. So this will be our final destination ad URL that we will paste on Tabula's ad creation. Or if you're using the optimizer, you will paste it in the ad destination URL of uh, the ad creation process in the optimizer. 